Today we're going to cover composite volume. Your essential question is when and how would you use composite volume? The first thing that you need to understand is what exactly composite volume is and how you find its answer. So what composite volume is are um, two or more um, three-dimensional shapes that are put together to make one total um, three-dimensional shape and to find the composite volume you're going to find the volume of each individual shape and then either add or subtract them together depending on what type of problem it is. So first I'm going to go over some adding examples. And these pictures are a lot harder to draw so I'm going to um, show y'all how. So the first one is like a snow cone. So you're going to draw a semicircle and then you're going to draw a triangle coming off of the bottom of it. And then to finish off your sphere, you do a little arc in the front. Well, that it should have met at the other side. There we go. And then a little arc in the back. And then that's your snow cone. Um, it needs to have a height to find its volume. And it needs to have a radius to find the volume. Um, let me fill in those dimensions. So first, we're going to find the volume of a hemisphere or the half sphere on the top of the snow cone. And we're going to use just half of the sphere, um, volume of a sphere formula. So you take half and then the volume of the sphere formula, and then you just fill in from there. So it's going to be half of 4 thirds pi times the radius, which is 8 cubed. And you're just going to put all of that in your calculator. Previously, my pre-IBs had to leave this in terms of pi, but sometimes both shapes won't always be circular shapes, so you can't leave it in terms of pi. So you just put all that in your calculator. So this is what it'll look like in the calculator. This is my half fraction. This is my 4 thirds fraction times pi times 8. And then you use this symbol right here, the caret symbol, to go to the third. And that means that just the hemisphere is 1072.33 centimeters cubed. Now we need to find the volume of our cone. And the formula for that is one third times the area of the base times the height. So one third, my base of a cone is a circle, and the area of a circle is pi r squared. So pi times my radius, which is eight squared, times my height, which is nine. Put all that in your calculator and solve. So this is my one third times pi times eight squared times nine, gives me 603.19 centimeters squared sorry, centimeters cubed. Um, to find the total volume of the whole snow cone, um, you will add both of those together. So the 1072.33 plus 603.19. Put them both in your calculator. And it ends up giving you 1675.52 centimeters cubed. Um, I'm going to do another example. This one's kind of look like a mailbox. So you have, you're going to make kind of a prism, but without the top. So like this. And then the top will be a semicircle or a half cylinder. So we need to have all of our dimensions. So it says that the bottom of the um, prism is 9 inches right here, but that also means if this whole thing is 9 inches, then that means the diameter of my cylinder is 9 inches, which means that our radius is half of that. So it'll be 4 and a half inches. So first let's find the volume of our half cylinder. So all I did is I took half of the cylinder formula. So it's half the area of the base times the height. So half the base of a cylinder is a circle, and the area of a circle is pi r squared. So pi, we just found our radius was 4 and a half squared times our height of the cylinder, which it's laying on its side. So it would be 22. Put all that in your calculator. And for this one, instead of the half, I use 0.5, which as a decimal is the exact same thing. It's just easier for me to type. And that gave me 699.7, and this is going to round up to a 9 because this is a 9. So 699.79. Now we need to find the volume of our prism. That formula is the area of the base times the height. 
And on this one, it's laying on its side, so the area of my base is a rectangle, so nine times five. And then our height, which is 22. Put all that in your calculator. And whenever you solve, it's 990 inches cubed. Then you add both volumes together, and whenever you put that in your calculator, you get 1,689.79. Now if you turn over to the back, we will do some subtracting type figures. So we're gonna do an example that's kind of like a pipe. So it's a cylinder within another cylinder. And we wanna know what um, would be between the two cil cylinders. So you, we're literally gonna make two different cylinders. So you just draw two ovals and then you connect their sides like this. This one's probably one of the easier ones to draw. And then you're going to have to have a radius for the big cylinder and then a radius for the little cylinder plus the height. Let me fill those in. So let's find the volume of the large cylinder first. And you take the area of the base times the height and the area of a cylinder, the area of the base of a cylinder is the area of a circle, so pi r squared. So pi. Um, the radius of my big cylinder is 13 inches, so 13 squared times the height of my cylinder, which in this case is 16. And put that all in your calculator. So pi times 13 squared times 16 gives me 8,494.87 inches cubed. Now let's do the small cylinder. Area of the base is a circle, so it's pi r squared, and this radius for the um, little cylinder is four inches, so four squared times the height is the same for both of them, and put all that in your calculator and solve. So pi times four squared times 16 gives me 804.25 inches cubed. And then find the total volume, you just add these two together. I'm sorry, you subtract them from each other. So I went ahead and did four decimal places because on subtraction it can make a little bit of a difference. Um, so the answer is 7,690.62 inches cubed. Our last example is um, taking a cylinder out of a prism. So let's draw our prism, which I'm going to make it out of rhombuses this time instead of straight up squares. Um, because it's easier to draw your cylinder if it's right on top of each other and to keep perspective um, it's easier to draw your prism straight up and down like this and then your cylinder in the middle connect all four corners and the two sides of your cylinder as well and we're gonna have to have a radius on our cylinder and then the three dimensions of our prism so first, let's find the volume of the prism. That's the area of the base times the height, and the base of this prism is a rectangle, which would be 17 times 11, and then the height is 19. Put all that in your calculator and find the answer. 17 times 11 times 19 is 3,553. Now let's find the volume of our cylinder. And that's the area of the base times the height. And the base of a cylinder is a circle, which is pi r squared. So pi times our radius, which in this case is four squared times our height, which is 19. Put all that in your calculator. Pi times four squared times 19 is 955.04 inches cubed. Subtract those two from each other to figure out how much space is left between the cylinder. So I'm doing 3,553 minus my previous answer instead of having to type all that in, which if you wanna do that, you just press second and then this button right here, you see how it says ANS right above it, that's for answer. So it will re-put back in your previous answer. So it'd be 2,597.96 uh, inches cubed. That's the end of our notes. Go ahead and go to the bottom and write your summary and we are finished.